right up is Indie News number 168. It's all in Avatar plus one. Really? Avatar plus one? Yes! We've got enough Avatar news? Avatar is based in our state. we got to show them some love. God, okay. And apparently we're doing an all Avatar plus one update. We're going to talk about George R. R. Martin's next book from Avatar. We're also going to talk about Avatar's new science fiction line, which they're going to populate with four brand new series. We're going to talk about God still being dead and how he's going to stay dead for a long, long time over at Avatar. We're also going to talk about Alan Moore's new book at Avatar. All this Avatar news. And we're going to wrap it all up with our plus one, which will involve Quantum, Woody, and the boys are back. Working on them again. All that and more coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, heroes are the cornerstone of our business, which is why we have a Hero of the Month sale. Every month, we take one hero and we discount our entire stock of their trade paperbacks 25% off all month long. That's right, for 30 days, you can save 25% off any of that month's selected Hero of the Month trade paperbacks. And that's only here, where your money works harder. Alternate Reality. For your information, it's a gypsy curse, and Bo would rather not talk about it. But what he would like is to cough up some indie news. Now 60% more consequence free. <laughs> End date comic book news, episode 168. Blah, blah, fishness. Uh, hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video on house. Bo! Yes? What time is it? It's indie news time. Indie news time. Coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality. Located at the intersection of Unlimited Kedzie, beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my new Avatar comics are 15% off. Every day for everyone. Cross, every cover? Uber. God is Dead. All those wonderful books. They're all 15% off every day for everyone. All covers. Bo? Yes? George R.R. R. Martin, who people sort of kind of know from some show who on HBO. He? I forget what the hell it's name. But there's he, something, he does a newsroom, doesn't there's he? There's something. Yeah, newsroom. That's it. He does a newsroom. Or, or is it Veep? He's, he's dabbled around at Avatar with some stuff, and he's going to do a little more dabbling with... He's got a new book coming out next summer called House of the Worm. House of the Worm. Mm. What kind of worm? Well, I'm assuming it's some kind of weird animalistic bloodthirsty worm. It's probably some tequila. <laughs> it's probably it's tequila. It's, it's all about a worm who's in a bottle of tequila and people moving it from place to place. Bo, you have no other information about the story outside of House of the Worm, next summer, George R. R. Martin. That's it. That's it, right? George R. R. Martin Everything said, else you're about to say is bullshit, right? He said it's House of the Worm and it comes yes. out next summer. And he, yes. says, he says, since it's coming out next summer and this is November, why spoil it? <laughs> TMI fans of his will say, "Why are you doing that when you I, should be finishing the book?" And I bet you're also enlightened right now. <laughs> you're going George R. R. Martin's in a book. Cool. Meanwhile, Avatar is also doing a science fiction line. Oh. That's right, not just one book, but a whole entire line. A line. A science fiction line that will you're include more shelves. That will include what? Fasunto Pesidos Caliban, Kieran Gillen's Mercury Heat, which is a murder mystery set on the planet Mercury, which gets really, really. Hot. Cy Spurrier's Neuro Trash, a future in which being young is a very, very bad thing, and Justin Jordan's Red Shift about bounty hunters in space. Ah, okay. Meanwhile, God is still dead. That's yes. right, God is yes. dead. <laughs> and it's going to become... I thought he was sleeping. Not a miniseries, but... It's an ongoing. It's an ongoing, because because God is, is, an, is an immortal being, an immortal concept, so why would you have a miniseries where he's dead? You have an ongoing series. Yeah, the book is still relatively well. And after That's issue six, not only is it an ongoing... After issue number six, the book will ship bi-weekly. Bi-weekly? So oh, it'll be, out, gonna so crank it'll be, it'll be cranking out. it out. Now, Jonathan Hickman happens to be a little busy over at Marvel, so basically Mike Costa, who writes G.I. Joe, he'll be taking over the writing of the book once the book becomes bi-weekly. Because Hickman says, I only have so many hours in the day and I have to sleep. Okay. Bo, yeah. what is Providence? Providence is a, it's in Rhode Island. Have you ever been to Rhode yes, Island? Yes, Providence, Rhode Island. Rhode no, Island I've never sucks. been there. Rhode Island sucks. It's just boring as hell. It's about the size of a postage stamp. It's got no gas Okay, stations. so, so far, Bo hates Burbank, and Bo hates Providence, Rhode Island. But Providence is also the name And he of won't the, go outside if it's below 50 in Chicago. It's also the new name. Las Vegas. Bro. Las Vegas is the greatest oh, city in the face of the earth, baby. Man. Baby! But Avatar, you know, they got Alan Moore and Jason Burroughs together again. He said, look, why don't yes. you do a book together? They said... And Elmore said, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> then he said it just like that. Because he has an English accent. And so... <laughs> and that's not what that was. It but... was so. It was so. <laughs> it was, of course. It, it sounded like <laughs> oh, But anyway, uh, Providence is a new book coming from those two from Avatar next fall. Now, wrapping it up, because this is an Avatar Plus One edition of Indie News. Here's your Plus One. Quantum and Woody! Oh, we must be talking about Valiant. Quantum and Woody team of Chris Priest and Mike Bright... Mark Bright, Mark Bright, Mark Bright, are doing what? They are returning to the, the characters that they call Q2, The Return of Quantum and Woody. This is a five-issue limited series. It'll take place 20 years after the ending of the original Acclaim series. 
and this series has nothing to do with the current Valiant Limited series. Yes. But when parallel Valiant, Earth. Parallel Earth. This is basically as if a claim never went belly up and didn't go into chaos. This takes place in... The, the claim? Well, this takes place in an... It takes place in, in a universe. In an... It's not an alternate in reality. An, We're all living in an alternate reality. We've already used the segue once. Don't beat the segue <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> anyway... Getting back to the actual story instead of the silly segue, for all you fans who are looking for the I goat... we were done. You said everything no. that's on the page. For all you fans who are looking for the goat, the goat is not part of this. You have nothing about so. the goat on the page. Because it's all in the head. Oh. Bonus. It's all in your head and it's up your butt. Bonus. And that's it. We are done. We are finished. We are out of here. We got no more indie news. Go to the store's website. Check out all the indie news. It both says when I post up there. Hey, yeah. Shakespeare, tell them where to go. Sarah, let them know. Who the... He can remember a comic book from 20 years ago, but he can't remember the name of his own web address. www.myalternatereality.com So go to the store's website, check out all his news until next time, it's Comic Book Man. And this is Bo. Yes, it is, saying bye! Ta -ta. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.